Hey, you're back listening to the Penny Stupid or watching the Penny Stupid podcast. I am Steve Rode. That is Damon Day. And we are back talking about side hustles, helping you to make money. Before I forget, and you're watching this video, hey, it's not going to cost you anything. Give us a thumbs up. Help us with uh, tell YouTube that we're okay. And subscribe hey, to the podcast if you haven't. We pushed through 700 and right. going for 1,000, baby. I'd like to get uh, monetized, but when we hit 1,000, we're not going to be close to the watch hours yet. So <laughs> we're going to have to focus on more long form content. And if you think we suck, do me a favor. Just minimize hey. the window, turn your volume down and just, yeah, just the video watch running. it. I need, we need some watch hours, man. Come on. Help a brother's out. <laughs> All right. We're going to be talking about uh, DoorDash Earn by Time today. Good idea. No, bad idea. Um, if you hear something, you think that we're full of crap or you agree, Go down to the comments and give us your feedback. We we read all the comments and appreciate. We respond every, to every one of them until we everyone. Get famous. Yeah, when we get famous, we might no. start only responding to the good comments. But right now, there are no stupid comments because we, if we get a comment, we're like, "Ooh, a comment!" They give us. Yeah. So uh, uh, participate. Give us your opinion and feedback. And this is a topic, Damon. That I think people are going to have a very strong opinion about one way or another. The, the earn by time offers that have come out from DoorDash for whatever reason um, are uh, DoorDash is guaranteeing a minimum hourly wage. I'll explain that. Uh, like fifteen twenty five an hour. But it's active hours. The, only the time that you're in a delivery that you're getting paid for. And this is guaranteed money instead of running around trying to make money by getting individual deliveries. And people are finding some comfort in doing that. Uh, now, Damon, before you jump in to your opinion, I have done some research. Clearly, I have an opinion. <laughs> I, I, I know what it is. I have done some research for this podcast. And one of the surprising things that I have found is that for some people, earn by time has actually been a really good thing. Uh, they have been getting... Some tips, they have been making more in tips uh, on earn by time, and uh, they're no longer penalized as much when you get stuck in those long drive through lines or, you know, some other situations. Now, when I say they're doing well, you know, they're doing $20 they were, an hour well. Yeah, and they were and doing they think shitty that's good. before that. <laughs> exactly. Right, exactly. You know, so, exactly. Door to algo, right? You could change my mind in the comments. You want to call me an idiot, whatever. I'm basing this on my experience door dashing in my area in Phoenix, mm -hmm. so it's different everywhere. DoorDash earned by time is a sucker's bet for the driver. Mm -hmm. DoorDash is going to figure out that it's much better for DoorDash and it's better for the customer. And mark my words, they're eventually going to have it rolled out to where DoorDash earned by time is just going to be standard. That's what you're going to do. They're going to take away earned by offer eventually. Right now, they're just testing it out. And I guarantee you they're figuring out it's better for them. They make more money and they get these shitty orders delivered, right? And if, if making $15 per active hour is your goal, then I guess maybe yeah. DoorDash earned by time is fine for you and that's okay. But for all of you drivers that are hustlers and maybe live in an area that has this ability to do that, that you're used to making more than the guaranteed rate, you're not going to like earned by time, especially when it gets rolled. And DoorDash will roll it out because if they're making more yeah. money with it and they're getting their orders delivered, there's no upside for them to keep the earn by offer. They're just doing it right now so you guys can test it for them. But it's a sucker's bet for the driver. Be more than happy to entertain any comments about it. Be more than happy to explain why it's a sucker's bet in this video. But you will be screwed if you're used to making 20 plus dollars an hour with DoorDash. You're going to hate earn by time. It's not going to work out well for well, you. Well, here's Especially a good if you like to multi-app. You can't multi-app with earn by time. Right. That's true. But if uh, you don't care about what your acceptance rate is, and it's in the toilet, but it's in the toilet because you're multi-apping and taking better offers mm -hmm. someplace else, um, earn by time can help you to significantly increase your acceptance rate and, and kind of you know move up if if that's something you care about yeah. in the in the DoorDash levels. But at the sacrifice of not being able to multi-app and potentially get better deals on other platforms. Yeah, and let me, obviously, we're not famous yet. Nobody knows us. <laughs> but, you know, when I go out there, I, I look, I'm just a financial consultant that started doing gig apps 
we started this YouTube channel to help, help my clients. And I've been doing it for about a year, year and a half, off and on, really part-time. So I'm not a full-time door dasher, full-time lift driver, anything like that. I do it part-time. So you guys might tell me I'm full of shit. But DoorDash earned by time screws you. I go out there and I make $40 to $50 an hour when I go out. Do I do simply DoorDash? No, you can't make $40, $50 an hour just right. doing DoorDash. That's the point. So if, if the, your goal of these gig apps is to make as much money as possible when you're out there, DoorDash earned by time is going to screw you if that's one of the apps you use. As Steve mentioned, if your goal is just, hey, I got some time to kill. I'm in the car watching Netflix and I don't want to think at all. I just want to have the phone up. And I've got, you know, I'd be home watching Netflix anyway, so I'm going to sit in my car and mm -hmm. uh, an order comes through and I'm just going to take it and I just want to listen to my radio. I don't want to think too much about it or anything else. DoorDash Earn By Time might be fine, although I'd make the argument you could do the same thing with Earn By Offer. If you don't care about taking shitty orders, there's plenty of yeah. shitty Earn By Offer orders you could take. I don't well, know why you... Yeah, I mean, here, here's one of the things that's happening. I have observed that the orders are generally not as good as they used to be. So people are rejecting more and more orders. Now, if you're mm -hmm. just sitting around rejecting orders, then there could be a large percentage of an hour that you're sitting there turning down trash instead of, you know, earning by time. No, by, earn by, by time won't pay you for those. You're not taking them. Earn by time. Right. So let's break this down for people because a lot of them think, oh, well, if I'm guaranteed $15 an hour every hour plus tips, that's not what you're guaranteed. No. It's and it's different and they might say it's twelve dollars an hour. It could be fifteen dollars. You have to look. It 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 fluctuates not only just based on the area that you're in, but the time of day. So when you go, it'll say, Hey, earn by time, fifteen dollars an, an hour, and you get all your tips. Here's how it works. The orders come in like normal. You're only allowed, if you're on earn by time, to decline one order an hour. Okay. Yep. One. Now, you might think, well, I only get two, two orders an hour anyway, sometimes three, so one's not that big a deal. No, you usually get a lot more than that, but if you accept those, you're obviously not going to get a lot of orders coming in while you're on an order. But if you just sat there, like, because my AR is in the toilet, I don't give a crap. I don't work for yeah. DoorDash, whatever. Wait, wait, wait. How can you not give a crap? It's in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> I already gave a crap. It's done. I oh, and that's in the toilet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But if you just sit there, especially during the lunch rush or something like that in that you know, ha halfway decent sized town, you'll get a lot of orders typically that'll come through, right? Mm -hmm. So one an hour is not very much. So if you are an earned by time, it's only paying, let's say, $15 per active hour, okay? So let me paint a scenario for you. You turn on the app, you're going to work for an hour, and you think, I'm going to make 15 bucks plus tips. Number one, right now, customers are conditioned to tip if they want to get their order. Right. If DoorDash earned by time rolls out everywhere as the only option, and it will because it makes more sense for DoorDash, everybody has to do earned by time. Now the tip is on the back end. The driver doesn't even know what the tip is if there is a tip until after. Right. Now the whole eventually, now right now when it first rolls out, consumers aren't going to figure that out immediately. It's going to take time. As consumers figure out, wait a minute, I don't have to tip and I could still get my order fast because DoorDash changed something or whatever, it's going to take time. But the customers eventually figured out, you know, I didn't tip on this one because I was feeling broke this week and it still came in five minutes or whatever. Right, right. So when you're on earned by time, that order comes in. All you know is what it is and like, you know, all the stuff you normally know, except the important stuff, like how much you're going to freaking get paid. You have no idea what you're going to make. So you're just making a blind decision based on I'm going to drive 10 miles to do this order. I don't know if I'm getting three bucks and no tip or what, but hey, guess what? I get $15 guaranteed active time. So let's just focus on that. So let's say you turn on your app, you're waiting 10 minutes, you get an order, you take it. It's 10 miles away. Takes mm -hmm. you 15 minutes, let's say. Let's say you're in the parking lot, whatever. Then you drop it off. You only got paid for those 15 minutes on active time. You right. didn't get paid for the first 10 minutes. You're sitting in the parking lot waiting. Now you're yeah. done. Now you I, go back to a store. You're not getting paid for the 15 minutes it's going to take to go back. Yeah, if, if you happen to you know, be outside that area and you have to come back or whatever. Now, let's say it takes another 10 minutes. You get your next order. You take that one, and it's 15 minutes. You're done. You have 10 minutes left in the hour. You're sitting there. You don't get another order. So in that one hour, you got, let's say there are two 10-mile orders that you took, whatever, and you got paid whatever you got paid. Let's say they were both crappy orders, no tip. And again, you don't know what they're going to pay you until you're done. Let's say both of them paid you four bucks. You got $8. Mm -hmm. 
You right. drove 20 miles minimum. Maybe you had some return miles. Let's say you drove 20 miles, you worked for an hour, and you got $8. And you go, yeah. well, that's okay because I'm guaranteed $15 an hour. So yeah. they'll give me an extra seven. No, no, you don't get an extra seven. <laughs> no. You only get paid $15 an hour prorated over the active time minutes. In this case, that was 15 minutes on one delivery, 15 on the other. That's 30 minutes, $7.50. You beat it. You make yeah. eight bucks. If yeah, that's and- what you need DoorDash for and you're just going to make $8, you're going to drive 20 plus miles for $8. That's the kind of crap that you're going to get on earned by time. Now, it could be yeah, but, better. But you didn't even make eight bucks because all of that That's burned gross. a whole ga- gallon of gas. Yeah. But now what, what's happened on earned by time is the decision is now out of your hands. Now, if you had those offers on earned by offer and it went, wait, they want me to drive 10 miles. There's no tip. And they're going nope. to pay me $4. You wouldn't take it. But now you have to take it because you're on earned by time. You need to start thinking about you're, you're basically essentially an employee at this point where you're just doing what they tell you. Now, DoorDash loves, I, they don't have to sit there and figure out they're going to like this. They already know they're going to like this because now all these drivers have to take all these crappy no tip orders and DoorDash knows what they're going to pay them. And you're not even getting the $15 an hour. I mean, you're not going to very likely be on you know 60 minutes active the whole time. You're mm-hmm. going to be 45 minutes active, 40 minutes active, 30 minutes active. So you're pushing for earn by time so you can be guaranteed seven or eight damn dollars? Like, it makes no sense for the driver. It now, makes perfect I'm sense for you. DoorDash and for the customer because now the customer can get these crappy orders far away and not even have to tip to get it. So I, I'm with you. There is a certain segment of drivers, though, that is going to be perfectly happy because, you know, the, these drivers, yeah. some of them that, that have fought for this, they're going to be perfectly happy sitting in the parking lot and, and going, ding, I got an assignment. I'm going to go do it and I'm going to get paid. Absolutely. And, yeah. And- I'm talking to those drivers that are hustlers that like to go out there and say, hey, can I make 30 bucks an hour? Can I make 35 bucks an hour? The other thing is you can't multi-app. So you right. are a slave to DoorDash now. Before you're doing earn by offer, my acceptance rate on DoorDash is like 20% or less because mm-hmm. I use DoorDash in conjunction with Uber Eats and Instacart and Walmart delivery and Lyft, right? And so mm-hmm. I, you know, I only use DoorDash as like, okay, I got this Walmart delivery, I flip DoorDash on, hey, here's the delivery from DoorDash that's going the same direction. So I'm going to double up on those miles. You can't do that. The decision making is out of your control. You can't do that if you're on earn by time. And you're only allowed to decline one an hour or you're going to get kicked off. You can't multi-app. You have to be sitting there ready for your next DoorDash order making zero dollars. Whereas if you're on earn by offer, you've got the freedom of choice. You can pick and, and decline what you want. You can decline everything for an hour while you're out there doing a Walmart run or an Instacart run because that and that hour is paying you more. So for all those drivers that are trying to, you know, all these drivers complain about not getting a living wage. You don't need the company to guarantee you a minimum wage. If you want a living wage, go get it. Don't right. be pushing for these companies <laughs> to give you point. some guarantee because here's the real life. Real life doesn't work like this where I want my opportunity to be exactly the same. I want to be able to multi-app. I want to be able to pick and choose. what, But I also want this company to give me <laughs> 20 bucks an hour. It doesn't I want work a, like that. I want a high paying, low responsibility job. Yeah. And so you're right. There's going to be drivers that are out there. But, you know, this is why we say you can't rely on these gig apps, because eventually they're all going to regress back down to the bottom where the basic driver is going to it, yep. DoorDash earn by time is pizza delivery. Mm-hmm. Right. That's all it is. It's like here, you're going to make a certain amount of money, which actually even sounds better than it is because you're not going to make that certain amount of money. You're not going to make that fifteen dollars an hour unless you get a couple of tips on top. Right. But it's going to yeah. go back. But at the end of the day, it's a delivery driver. Does it really need more skills than a guy sitting in a car or a girl sitting in the car going, bing, I gotta, I'll, I'll go do it. Oh, good. I made $3. That's yeah. the person that DoorDash is going to have delivering for them when this rolls out. And it will. Because there's no downside for DoorDash in this earned by time. Drivers are screwing themselves. The ones that are pushing for this, they have no idea that they're kind of pushing away this opportunity. The opportunity is going to be gone. DoorDash so earned by time is not an opportunity. I'd like to know if you're watching us, listening to us right now, what do you think? Go to the comments and let us know. Yeah. You've, you've, Tell me I'm we've full of shit. You, yeah, we've given you two different opinions. 
Because for some people, earn by time is really good. They're getting some tips. They like to just get an assignment and go do it. Or like Damon said, uh, you're a hustler. You want to double your income. You want to do the best you can with the time you've got. What I would love to know, what is your opinion? What strategy do you think makes sense? Go to the comments. Let us know. Yeah, I can't even fathom the idea of sitting there and a company like DoorDash or Lyft, where you know these companies are trying to get their stuff delivered for as little money as possible. You know that's their goal. You know the algorithms, because you see these trash offers all the time. And then you somehow think, if you're on earn by time, these trash offers are going to go away? It's like you're going to be sitting there going, oh, I got to do this five-mile order. Am I going to get $3 or $10? Like, you don't know ahead of time what you're going to get, all because you traded that ability to make a good decision for yourself you traded that for a guaranteed seven or eight dollars an hour because in the in the end of the day that's what it's going to be fifteen dollars per active hour seven eight maybe ten bucks an hour depending on how many times how many minutes in that hour your wheels were turning you're going to trade the ability to make a good decision for ten damn dollars an hour give me a break this situation you're sitting there you've already rejected one and an offer comes in you can't reject it again but it's going to an area that you don't really feel comfortable in. It might feel yeah. unsafe to you. What, what are your options? None. Well, so right now, a driver will say, well, if I get kicked off earn by time, I have the option to switch over to earn by offer. Yeah, yeah you're right. You have that option now. What option are you going to have when DoorDash goes, you know what? This earn by time is freaking sweet for us, dude. Mm-hmm. And now earn by offer goes away. You don't think they're going to, you, know, you think they're going to keep, why would, earn by, why would DoorDash give you earn by offer? Here's what's going to happen. Now you get kicked off. There is no earn by offer eventually. And that'll just let the next guy that really wants to deliver come on and deliver. Now you're gone. Now they'll have something where they'll change. But like if you get kicked off X amount of times per week, maybe you get a contract violation. Right. They could do whatever they want. The bottom line is the control is going away. You're going to have no control. You're going to have to blindly do what DoorDash wants you to do and just hope you get some tips. That sucks. So in this gig economy with delivering apps or driving apps, whatever. Uh, I think it's really interesting that when you look at Lyft and Uber, how they've attempted to have these strikes and we're going to tell the company and we're not going to work. There's always drivers that will fill in those gaps and the companies have Mm -hmm. never been shut down. And it's going to be the same thing with DoorDash. I agree with Damon that they could flip a switch tomorrow and say it's only earned by time from now on. You're going to have a whole bunch of drivers say, I don't like it. But then you're going to have people that are doing the deliveries. Yeah. Well, it's because, like, look at what's going on in New York, right? They push it. They got legislation. You think DoorDash is going to roll over and just eat it? You don't think they're (laughs) going to change? Like, okay, fine. We have to pay. And it started out as $29 an active hour. Oh, my Mm -hmm. gosh. This is awesome. Now it's night. I just looked. As of April 1st, it changed to 19. Yeah. In a matter of four months, it went from, oh, we got this legislation passed. We beat the company. We're going to get $29 an active hour or $17. I think it was $17 per, per hour, regardless of whether you were sitting there or working. Now that changed to now it's only 19 something per active hour. And then DoorDash has put together some kind of a weekly bonus st- incentive structure on top of that in New York City now, right? Okay. So they're constantly tweaking and figuring out what they can do. But earn by time gives DoorDash a lot more opportunity to force drivers to deliver shitty orders. And you know, there's a lot of shitty orders on there Mm -hmm. and pay them a small amount of guaranteed money. It's perfect for DoorDash. They'll figure it out. They already have. If I can see it, they see it. And it's just a matter of time before that rolls out everywhere. Only earn by time. That's all you have. Opportunity gone. I'm sure DoorDash is saying, you know, but you might get some tips. But yeah. They don't care about that. You might like the get the fees some, are so might. expensive. Yeah. Now and eventually, again, it's going to take some time because the, the the customers have to be conditioned now. Right now, they're conditioned to say, if I don't throw a big tip, my food's going to be cold. Yeah. Eventually, they figure out when all this rolls out and everybody has to earn by time. They'll figure out very quick. I paid fifteen dollars as a service fee. I'm not giving a tip. The driver. I heard on the news the driver makes thirty bucks an hour. Like, right. No, 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 no. That was in New York City, and that was only active time. And now that's not even 30. That's, 20, that's, that's 19, right? But people just hear something on the news, and they justify, right? Because tipping's gotten out of control. So yeah. the tips are going to be going way down, and <laughs> you won't even know if you got tipped until after. So what's the, in, the, the customer's incentive to tip you after that? Like, I just paid $15 service fee. I'm not going to give this guy a tip. Whatever. Yeah, I saw a you driver uh, did it. 
delivered a $25 meal, uh, was paid $4 for 10 miles by DoorDash, and got a $1 tip. Yeah. But here's my, and, and here's my, it was an apartment. Here's the thing, and drivers don't like to hear this. Earned by offer, if you take a shitty order and then complain about taking the shitty yeah. order, you're the problem. I'm sorry. Yeah. Don't take the shitty order. Earn by time, maybe drivers like earn by time because they could take the blame off themselves. It's not my fault. I didn't have the information to make the decision, so I didn't know I was going to get no tip until after. Boo, DoorDash sucks, right? Because they didn't want to take the responsibility on themselves to say, shitty order, shitty order, shitty order. Right. Oh, good tip. I'll take that one. Right. Right? Hey, truth hurts. Stop taking shitty orders and you won't be <laughs> mad at DoorDash. I'm not mad at DoorDash. I'm not mad at Lyft. I'm not mad at Uber. I make 40, 50 bucks an hour. But you know what? It's different every day. Some days I'm doing deliver that. Some days I'm doing some Uber. Some days I'm doing some Instacart. I go where the money is. I make decisions. You can do that too. You don't have to be a victim. These are just opportunities. Stop trying to turn them into minimum wage jobs. There's plenty of those. If all you want is a guaranteed eight bucks an hour, because that's what you're going to get with DoorDash earned by time, go get a damn job that pays 15 bucks an hour and you don't right. have to drive all over the place. You'd be better off. Stop trying to ruin an opportunity for those entrepreneurial types that enjoy the flexibility, enjoy the opportunity. Because as much as you think you're entitled to this, by you being entitled to something, DoorDash has to take something away from somebody else. Why are you more entitled than the, the mom that just needs to work a couple hours, make as much money as she can until her kids get back home from school, right? Just because you want to make it a full-time job for you, why should you, know, you get the, the right to push that so DoorDash becomes a low-paying full-time job? That's not what it started out as. You're taking opportunities away from other people. You're just being selfish. So well, let's look, look at what history has taught us on all of these apps, food or people delivery, is the income has continued to go down, down, down. Uh, yep. Nobody should expect that it's going to go up at all. It's going to, opportunities are going to become less and less attractive. There are plenty of drivers that will do this stuff. And uh, I really don't see at this point some new company jumping in and starting at the top of the pay cycle and trying to woo people away because there are enough uh, Grubhubs, DoorDashes, Uber Yeah, Eats. there's a ton of companies that nobody's ever heard of. There's a yeah. ton of these kind of startups around and they never get off the ground because the key, the key is you've got to find the consumers, mm -hmm. right? You don't have the fun. You got to go get the consumers, which cracks me up when all these people get mad at Uber and Lyft and DoorDash. And it's like, do you realize if these guys didn't take the massive risk that they took mm -hmm. and got all this VC money and the investors that took all this risk just to create something that didn't exist before to even give you this opportunity and the balls that you got as a driver to complain, they don't owe you shit, bro. Mm -hmm. Like get over yourself. Stop being a victim. Go out and get you some while it's still there. Cause it's not going to be there in the next right. couple of years. Cause all these victim drivers are going to drive it into the ground and you're playing right into the hands of these companies. DoorDash earned by time is awesome for DoorDash, right. not for drivers. <laughs> Figure it out. Use your brain. All right. On that note, hey, uh, you have an opinion? Share it with us. Want to hear? You've, you've heard everything that we had to say. I would love to hear what you have to say in the comments below. Subscribe. Like the, the uh, podcast. Like the video. Give us a little YouTube love. Oh, we're going to get a lot of hate. We're going to get a lot I, of hate. A lot of hey, hate. I'm okay with that. Uh, hey, and David, we're just here trying to help people make money. That's the goal of this channel. Being a victim and protesting these companies is not going to make you anything. You yeah. know, you got to be entrepreneurial. You got to think outside the box. And what, what really just grinds my gears is when people just are just pushed, you know, taking these opportunities away from people, not, not knowingly taking the opportunities away, but ignorantly taking these opportunities away by pushing for certain things that don't make any sense because they haven't taken a second to think it through. It just. Mm. <laughs> Speaking of thinking it through, I'm going to think through this. See ya. Peace. I hit stop. No, you didn't. <laughs> Hello. I, I pushed the button. It's frozen.